Hey guys, this is Man Shark Sub LPs. I'm Sub, this is Europa Universalis 4, and this is Millennia in the Making episode 268. We are France, we are not the Holy Roman Emperor, sadly. And uh, yeah, we're at war. With Mali and Balone. We're technically a war with Balone, even though we've just, you know, basically smashed them, sort of thing. Um, what we're waiting for here is for our core construction in Naxos to be finished, because the peace treaty that we're going with with Balone is going to cost us a fair amount of uh, um, diplomatic power. Not diplomatic power, overextension. So we're just waiting on that to finish so we can get that. And also, you know, we're fucking over Mali down here. We're not going to be able to take everything we want off Mali. Let's get that started, by the way. While well, everywhere cancels stuff with us. We do not want Arabia to have access. We don't want you to be doing what you're doing. Um, yeah, so basically we don't want... God, I've forgotten what I was saying. Yeah, we're not going to be able to take everything we want off Mali in in our peace deal, which will be upcoming shortly. But goddamn, are we going to fuck over somebody? Can we get to there? Okay, so we're going to wait for these guys to get to Massina so that we can uh, attack them. Also, I believe we have some rebel issues over here. We certainly do. However, the good old Floridan army is actually attempting to do something about it. We'll help them out down here. And then maybe head on over to Cherokee and help them out there. We'll see. I've noticed that we're also getting some power projection from subsidizing Florida, so that's a positive step. We've just managed to colonize Greater Namaqualand, so we'll just build a fort there and send our dudes over here, and that is where we will send the colonists who has just uh, been freed up from that. And that core is just complete now. There we go. So, first of all, where are these losers going? Massage you. Mm. We can come back there and get that any time we want. 12th of October, 25th of October. Move like that, see how we go. Right. I'm also a little concerned about Shalland here. Shalland own a lot of trade in Lubeck. See? Second most next to us. Um, so they're technically taking some money off us, if you will. And the problem here is, uh, well, Trondalag are not allied with Shalland, so they will probably be looking to kick the shit out of them in a few moments. Shalland, however, is allied with Upland, Ostergotland, and Kurland, which are those blue nations there. So Ostergotland, Upland, and Kurland. So they should be fairly easy targets. Let's deal with them. Uh, the other thing of note is we actually have a um, mission which is to form an alliance with these guys here. They're not accepting of that at this point in time. We could send a diplomat. We may send a diplomat once they're done fabricating cores or claims, but not at, not at this point. Okay, so the first step is to just get our navy out and dump it in um, stall bait, stall bait, just so that we can get across the, uh, you know, seas. Quedditch is Catholic. Where the fuck is Quedditch? Is it one of these ones up here? Yeah, it's this one here. So... Perhaps this gentleman here should stop colonizing or this gentleman down here this gentleman down here should stop colonizing for the moment although he is kind of necessary what a mosquito is not having a very big effect so we'll pull him out they'll uprise as they do yeah I know I know I know and we'll dump him up in this one up here 
Oh, apparently it's too far away. Really? Oh, because it's inland and not adjacent to one of my things. God damn. You fucking assholes. Oh well, we'll just have to dump that guy somewhere else. Because I'm not going to send him back to Mosquito, that would be to admit failure. Can't send him there. Could send him to Manahawk. Why are none of you going to Cherokee? Like, seriously, why are none of you going... God damn, I have to do everything my fucking self. Could send him into Manahawk. That'd give these guys another bit of land, and it might actually help them reduce some of their problems with their, uh... They're still at fucking complete. We're gonna have to just get them out of a war and permanently get them out of a war. That's their main... one of their main issues. They've got a lot of war exhaustion. Jesus Christ. Fucking fools. You know, we could try to make our way towards the uh, Pacific Coast. Could also try doing something down here. How many colonies do we have? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. We've only got nine. We can totally put another one down. Yeah, we could totally do that. Um, yeah, why don't we? Um, oh, why not? Let's lock off Nicaragua. We'll get there in a year and a half. Whoops, what have I done there? There we are. All sorted. I can't believe these guys aren't going to go and besiege this. I mean, these guys are. If they get there and they actually manage to progress the siege, I'll be fine. Uh, the governor of Franco-German La Plata has suddenly died. They don't have any big rebellion risk or anything like that. Well, I lie, they totally do. In some of their places down here. But that is merely due to, uh, you know, nationalism and that sort of bullshit. So I'm going to send them a military leader. Sounds good. And now let's end this war here with Balone. So the problem is, full extension, we could totally fully annex them, but 122% over extension. I don't want to do that. I want to take the Caracas. I want to take Cartagena. I want to take these two places. These two places are going to cost us diplomatic power, though. However, if we leave them be, they'll continue colonizing down here. And while they will be limited, it will still be annoying. So I'm going to take them. Done. Yeah, huge amounts of overextension, and it's going to cost us a bomb to, you know, get them all converted. And apparently we're below our, um... Overextend or our power projection, which is annoying. We're going to have to do something about that. Let's try subsidizing another one of our colonies, such as maybe Franco German Canada. When our dude gets back, of course. He's back. Subsidies for, let's say, 50 years have uh, 50 gold. Done. No change. Annoying. Oh no, there we go, there we go. Subsidizing Franco-German Canada, plus three. Well, that's good. Can we do that to all of our colonies? Because I've got some... I've got a bunch of colonies that I could, you know, subsidize and would get some more power projection from. Yeah, just, just saying. Okay, so how's Marley going? Yeah, Marley's coming along. Gafsa has fallen. Is 
that the capital of Egypt now? Yep. That's right. Good, our dude's home from Franco-German Canada. So, what I'm actually going to do with him is set him to improve relationship in Colm. Because I know that our uh, cause are going to be... Well, our claims are going to be done soon. Good battle, guys. Good battle. Get some French assholes. Yeah, we can afford to move out and then back. More rebels. Just more rebels everywhere. All the time. I think these guys have done their job there, so I'm going to send them out of there and put them back over here. Good, our guy's home from Great Britain. I don't think that there was anything that we had to fabricate more or further in Great Britain. No, that's fine. We don't need any of those places. Yet. Okay, so. I believe Shelland required a war. Ah, right, we can fabricate a claim on Funen. Let's get that done. Nice and quick. Though the actual uh, intent there may not be right, because we can only declare... Now let's pull him out of there, he's, he's not doing it properly. Cancel it. And I'll show you the reason in a moment. Thank you. So the reason why we cancelled that is because currently our... Uh... Oh, we've got to wait for the 8th of May. Good. And we've won the Siege of Messina. Perfect. Just go down there, kill them. Ah, oh, you're not going to make it. Head over to Timbuktu. Because we've captured everything that we need. These guys can head back up this way. Anyway, as I was saying, Reconquest is different from a Claim War. So we're going to try for the Reconquest, because that might get us these two, and lock them off from Trondelag. So our war goal will be Lolland. Now, how many boats do they actually have? They've got 11 boats, but mm, that should be fine. So, who's joining in? Everybody who cares. Wonderful. That's actually pretty good for us. So it's all of these nations. I don't care about these ones here, but Kurland is going to require a little bit of punching down. Luckily, I have some troops nearby. Here's some troops I prepared earlier, perhaps. And you know what? These guys can lose their leader. And I'll actually put him into this army here. Because they're scheduled to defeat, or you know, to attack these guys here. Uh, it does appear that they do have some boats, at least. And, you know, of course they have admirals. The AI actually treats admirals completely differently. It cheats with them, basically. Not looking good for our dudes. Not looking good for them, either. So, we have lost at least one ship. Two ships. That's right, because once we, you know make them lose ships, we also basically stop them from having ships there anyway. Yeah, see, nice and quick battle, no problem. Siege of Chuat is over. I'm not going to move this army down there because that's just, well, the attrition. Instead, I'm going to move them... Let's move them up to Iran. They'll be fine. So, the question is, first of all, Colm, will you ally with us? Not yet. Okay. Arabia, will you let us fabricate yet another claim on your shit? Yes, you will. Good men. Uh, Governor of Guyan has suddenly died. I don't think Guyan has any real revolt risk, so I'm just going to send them a uh, military candidate. 
<coughs> Excuse me. Why not? Yeah, it actually looks like Florida is kind of tangled, uh, you know, dealing with its own issues at this point in time. With a little bit of help from us, of course. But, you know, they're doing what they can, which is good for them. I'm proud of them. Or, you know, of what I've made them. Which is how it should be. Dude, that one's going to take forever, isn't it? Oh well. These ones over here should be a little bit quicker. Not that we're actually aiming to take them or anything like that, of course. Hmm. Additional tax modifier? Or money? It's tax modifier. Okay, so we could invest in more trade range, which is nice, it would lead us to more efficiency, etc. down the line. Or we could try and save up and get a little bit of, uh, get more trade range, more colonial range, more trade efficiency, and better, um, transports and galleys. I'm going to go with the idea. <clears throat> so more trade range, which at this point in time is actually not important to us at all. It doesn't matter. Maybe we should get rid of some of these things, though. Let's have a look. Where are we? Missions. There we are. So I've got that one and that one. That one's nice. I think we're going to cancel that one. Can always add it again later, of course. I doubt we will, but you know. And this one, what's our current settler? 90. Set it, bring it down to 80. We'll see, see how we go with. Yeah, because we can add it in whenever the fuck we want, so you know, get rid of it. The points are more important to us right now. Yes, of course, Mosquito is under attack. And of course our allies are doing their best to, you know, take on Kurland because it's right next to Prussia. It's going to take a bit for them to come in because of all the war that we're doing. Which, hey, you know what, that's fine. I mean, we're not looking at staying in these wars for too long. 100 population in Lesser Namaqua land, that's good, because, uh, well, it'll help our colonist. And our other efforts, of course. I think we need 97% for this war to finish here. So let's see, we definitely want those two, which is a huge amount of, you know, stuff. I would like Fugig as well, because that's part of the Sevilla node. And what else would I like? Well, ideally I'd like some stuff down here. That's too expensive, that's... That would be just on the peace line. Yeah, we're not going to be able to deprive them of coastal like stuff unless we get rid of Figig as well. Then we might be able to deprive them of coast. I don't care about them having coast, they're not doing anything with it, so that and Let's have a look at what these actually are. So they're po they're all part of the Ivory Coast. You know, I don't particularly need that one there. I mean I want Iran because it's also part of the uh you know, trade node, and I think it's actually, yeah, it's an important center of trade. So it is important. Um, that would give us some overextension. Uh, overextension isn't too much of a deal right now. Well, it is, really. It's 99, 106, 108. 
we'll try for that one when we can get it. So it's only just out of our reach, to be quite honest. We'll totally get them to revoke their core and food jalon as well, but no, that's fine. So we'll just keep pushing them until they give it up. Which is advice for all aspects of life. Speaking of though, we can start that coring process. Most importantly, that war score would have given us no over or that war end would give us no overextension. This fleet here is going to need three more light ships, so we'll just build those while we're remembering. Let's just build them all over right in the same place. It isn't a real concern. We'll just ship them over there so we know what's there, what they're there for. So these guys do good in a siege because they've got an amazing leader. Yep, don't care. Trondalag actually like us for some reason. We have the same dynasty as Trondalag? No fucking way. How about a royal marriage, bros? We've got the room. Alright, so. This is actually really good for us, because now we just need to wait. Good. That's perfect, actually. I didn't realize that Trondalag were also Lodol Fingers. Uh, we've got extra military technology, and we're probably going to use it because we're not actually fighting anybody at the moment. Like, you know, technically. So we've got some very easy choices to make here. The uh, cavalry improves from this stat line to this stat line. That's great. They're, they get better at defensively. They get better with uh, offensive shock and offensive morale. And the cannons upgrade from Chamber Demi, which is this stat line, to Lever Cannons, which get a little bit of shock in there as well, but not much else. It's pretty good for them. Pretty good for them. And hey, everything's an upgrade, right? Okay, so our air is running around town in a most unchristian fashion. So we can either lose five prestige or her claim strength goes down. She's going to inherit anyway. But let's just decrease her claim strength. Yeah, it doesn't even matter. So Trondalag has offered us an alliance. Sure. I mean, we're already, you know, dealing with them. Siege of Zhen, we've actually lost it, have we? Interesting. They must have assaulted. That's alright, because now we've taken Timbuktu. I'll just head on down there and we'll see what we can do. While our guys you know, slowly recover morale from the devastating need to uh, restock their bros. Yeah, they totally wouldn't accept entering the war, because why would they? They've got a fair amount of war exhaustion, though. I mean, that's good for us. Because we'll probably be attacking them at some point. How's the rebel situation? Not great. So let's deal with it. Lesser land is continuing on its uh, little progress chart. Is that a minus? No, that's a plus 21. They're doing pretty well over here in uh, Funen. Siege of Riga is over. Nice, these guys can now come over here and try and slap these dudes down. For whatever reason. <coughs> X 
Excellent. Ah, oh, God. Just hit and escape all over this. Okay, so these guys no longer need a leader, and I'll just send them back to Novgorod, where they were waiting to do their thing, because our allies are really handling Kurland. Oh, the army has a lot of prestige. It's probably because of being the HRE dudes. Yeah. It's fine. Assholes. It's totally my goddamned HRE stuff. Yeah, I'm pretty filthy about it, to be honest. <sighs> Fucking hell. So, it turns out that I may have low blood sugar at the moment, so you're going to get a uh, wonderful treat of um, the jelly bean gourmet, as it were. So let me just take these out of the canister. There we go. Walk back over to the computer. Yeah, riveting stuff. Alright, so let's just keep this going because there's nothing much going on. What do we have here? We have... Oh, a purple. Hold on, we just siege Funen. So send him down here. That's actually already under siege from Georgia, so we'll actually send him to Sealand. And we'll give them this guy. So we've got one purple, three yellows, one pink, one red, one green, and two blues. Let's have the yellows first, because they are most populous. I always forget what, uh, what flavour these are. They're either pineapple or lemon. It's hard to tell because they don't actually taste like pineapple or lemon. Oh, those guys. Figig, I thought it said. The fuck is Figig? Alright. Oh, deal with them. Hmm. I should probably deal with these guys. Actually, deal with them like that. Hmm, that'd be good. The siege is over. Let's just send our dudes up here. Might be lemon. Not sure. I yeah, really not sure. Come on, guys, you can deal with that yourself. Good lads. Okay, after the yellow, we're going to have the green. This is definitely apple. Mm. It's good though. And these guys are just going to move there. Yeah, quite good. After that, we have the blues. I don't know what, what flavour the blues fucking are. Probably candy or something like that. Nice though. Hmm. Yeah, quite good. Yeah, honestly not sure what flavor they are. Uh, then we have the uh, pink. I think it's bubblegum flavor. Oh, I don't want you to do that. I don't want you to give anything to Egypt. Why would I want that? Uh, then we have red, which is either strawberry or raspberry. Yeah, pretty good. Okay, our dude in Arabia has finished doing what he's doing, so let's send another guy down there. And uh, purple. No idea what flavor purple is, other than that it's good. Mmm. Quite nice. Angava is self-sustaining and has now become part of our Canada, and we have also gained... Trading in grain. Force limits plus 10%. That's helping us out with, um... 
money as well. So the only one I want missing here are fur for prestige, tea for advisor costs, chinaware for legitimacy, and that's it. Gold doesn't have a bonus. So that's this place done. Um, there anyway. We didn't get a colonist back from that because all of our colonists are doing other things. Mainly fapping, I guess. You know. We'll see. But yeah, so that province has been just re-added to uh, Franco-Germanic Canada. Good on it. Hmm, had a little bit of jelly bean stuck on the back of one of my uh, teeth there. Tell you what, the British have really amassed a big army just to sit here and look at us. How many can Cornwall sustain? 62. We should put another army over there. You know what, we're actually going to do that because I'm a little worried about them, so let's just get another 20... Oh no, let's let's do it properly, so... Yeah, um, it can only hold 62, so I don't want to go over 62. Let's have another 20 infantry and then whatever. I think we need 4 and 4 after that. So you know what, let's just make them there. 1, 2, 3, 4. And cannons. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then I'm going to make 20 infantry on the mainland. Probably in this place here, because it's just going to be easier. So 10 there. Uh, you know what? No. I'm going to make them all over in Cornwall. We've got plenty of time. So we just want that little number to read 28. Done. Sorted. Okay, um, Franco -German Germanic Brazil says that the term time is up, so they want to keep this guy. It's fine, keep him. He's a good bloke. Okay, we've lost our conquest cast spell against Volga Bulgaria. Kurland is offering us a peace offer, which will cost us stuff. What can we do with you that isn't just that? could force religion on them because they're Catholic! Oh, isn't that interesting? I was unaware that we still had Catholics around. Hmm, clear the offer. Well, we can't force religion on them because that would cost us too much. But we could take some of their land. Such as Ravel up there. could force them to release some places. Which is Vasta Gotland, apparently. Some Pomeralia, yeah. We're going to force them to release some places, I think. So Smiten, is that actually part of anywhere? Get, get rid of it. Get rid of Livonia. So Livonia will force them to release, I think, Osel. I don't know what Smiten will get them to release. I'm not sure if it'll be anything. Cancel that for a second. Okay, so there's some item in Pomeralia there. No one has nothing. No one has nothing. That one has nothing. That one has Vestgotland. That one is Livonia. And this one is fucking everything else, but nothing. Yes, so we can only really release three nations. Let's do that and see what it does for the Imperial Authority. I'm willing to spend 75 diplomatic power to work this out. Get anything else out of that? No, not really. Oh, uh, end your alliances with everywhere. Mm, just that one then. did not change Imperial Authority. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Marley, are you done? Uh, we need to take this one back first before I can get them to be done. 
That's annoying that it didn't change Imperial authority, isn't it? I mean, it's kind of a point. We must need to be Emperor for that. Which, you know, that's fine. We'll manage. We gain reconquest against them, though. Uh, recall the diplomat from Colm. He's fine. Will you make an alliance? No, not yet. Now we can. Send him. Good. Uh, okay, so we've got a royal marriage offer from Colm and a peace offer from Shalland. Shalland will pay us a lot of money and see the place. Get fucked. New mission? We'll get to that in a moment. Too many diplomatic relations. I know, so let's call Kulm to arms. Ah, oh, they have refused. And I'm not going to offer that. Okay, so our missions today. Improve relations with Stravani for some prestige. We claim Calabrian for 10 prestige. Or conquer Tunis for 10 prestige and 15 admin power. That one's Tunis. It's part of Egypt. It's probably the best goal here. And I believe that might give us a claim on it. It has. So now we have a claim on three of four Egyptian places. They're allied with Sicily and Trondelag. But we are allied with Trondelag. Let's send Trondelag a friendly... guy. And check how friendly they are with Egypt. Quite friendly. Evangelical Union, what the fuck is that? Yup. I don't know. Whatever it is. I really doubt Trondelag are gonna want to get into another war with that level of war exhaustion. We will see. Oh yeah, I don't care. Now we've got some dudes there for Egypt, we've got some dudes up here for Egypt. Got dudes everywhere for Egypt. It's it's gonna work. You watch, it'll work. Very much like it if these guys could hurry up and take this place though, because we need to Oops. Ah good, we finally took that. You guys can help up here and deal with these fuckers. We do need to peace out with Mali at some point, because uh It's gonna cost us twenty five diplomatic power. But that's not what I want in any way, shape, or form. Basically, I want our power projection to be above 50. I need our power projection to be above 50. I could try subsidizing another one of our colonial nations, but, well... Eh. Details. Not go up there, then down there, and then there. Fucking rebels all over the fucking place. I'm getting to get out real sick of Florida. And what good has ever come out of Florida? And if you say any good has come out of Florida, I'll uh, say that that's counteracted by Flo Rider. Checkmate. Bitches. All right, how are we doing over here? It's not war with a few places. If just done ma managed to do something, I believe it would have been a core. Yep. So we no longer have a dangerous overextension, and we're actually about to, you know, fix up the rest of it as well. Ah, we formed German Columbia, which has just decided that the go-to button means, you know name or finish the name. That's annoying because it should be Franco-German Columbia. You pricks. Yeah, so apparently go to means fuck you. Whatever. Now all of that's their land. I don't have to worry about overextension anymore. It's their problem, which means I probably have to worry about overextension. You cunts. But anyway, they own from Panama around to here. That's going to be an issue when we want to build the Panama Canal because, well, we can't now. It's in the hands of them. Which is somewhat concerning. But, you know, whatever. What 
part of colonial region is that? Okay, so that's all colonial Colombia down there. Ugh, you're a stain on my honor, German Col German Colombia. Should be Franco German Colombia. Piece of shit. Okay, I think this fleet is done, so they can get back to patrolling. I think I know which I think it's going to be the Lubeck node. Yeah, it is, because somebody else is patrolling Antwerp. Get to it, boys! What are we at here? 35%. Yeah, so it's not going to be a difficult end of war there. These guys are trying to take back uh, Timbuktu. Best of luck to you, boys! Battle of Seminole. That's over. Good. No more rebels for now? No more rebels for now. Franco Germanic Canada has a fairly nice army sitting there. We've lost our conquest, Cassus Belli, against Alenia, and he don't particularly care. If we need it, we'll get it back. We're gonna get a new dude. Not sure which one. I don't know which one it was. Adolf here, it's not Adolf, Herbert here is going to die fairly shortly. I mean, he gets a 12% yearly death risk, but it's good to know that we've got a traitor waiting around. I'm going to keep him on hand, because when the Empress dies, he's helping out with this chance of inheriting. Which, hey, is nice. You know, it's good. Uh, the Empress is getting on. She's 62 years old. Which is considerable. In, uh, you know, Europa Universalis terms. Oh, can we declare war on these guys yet? Sicily and Trondelag. Oh, I don't care about Sicily. Trondelag is the only problematic factor there. They've gone from being kind towards us to not liking us, really. They feel threatened. Which, you know, it's somewhat of an issue, isn't it? They shouldn't feel threatened. They're our friends. Our good Ladolfinger friends. Why I have a strong claim for? That's that's more annoying, actually. Hmm. We just have to wait until one of them doesn't have a proper air or something like that. Okay. Come on, guys. Not you guys, but my guys. Uh, Curlan, sure. Siege of Sealand. Okay, that one's done. So now we're just waiting on the uh, Georgians to finish their thing. Have a little bit of a sea battle. These guys can... Uh... Mm, you know what? They're probably going to have to stay there. I'm totally fully annexing the place. Ah, Siege of Jen is over. Beautiful. Alright, guys. Sit for peace. Uh, that's what I want. Is it everything? It is ev <laughs> everything. It's not really everything, but it's as much as we're going to get. Done. Didn't really need to take Shen back, to be honest. So you guys can come down to here. Okay, let's just have a quick look at what we need to do here. We do have a few places to convert for pittances. The important part is this one here. And now... Hmm... Should we now declare war on them? We've got a few years. We've got a few years. Okay, good fight there. Send these guys down here just to help them with the blockade. And it's taken. No. 
what we are actually going to do is wait for our diplomat to come back. Perfect. Super piece. Full annexation would cost us 150. Why? How would that cost us 150? We can't even afford that bullshit. Ugh. I'm gonna fully annex them because fuck them, they've just pissed me off. So we just need to wait for uh, another month to pass by. Yeah, they just pissed me off by being difficult. That is exactly what they have done. Ah, oh, check that out. Now they, these guys are kind to me. Alright. Full. And yeah, that's totally worth it. Do it. Okay, so we're going to have some... Uh, Overextension here we just need to handle. Nice and quick, nice and easy. And we do have one place to convert because it's already a core. Okay, and these galleys are now going to be based in Shelland. Perfect. Yeah, we've got one point of aggressive expansion there. Ooh, big deal. And uh, power projection is actually now up quite high because of uh, good old Mali. Thank you, Gotland. Let us send our... whoops. Ah! Nachitochis has become self-sustaining. That's this one right here. Good on it. Just check for rebels. Of course there are rebels. Of course. Ah, uh, let's see. These guys here are kind of rate shit. Oh, apparently Sealand. Alright, oh, it's already a core, so it can get converted as well. Excellent. Okay, are we at war with anybody else with this? Nope, just Pueblo. You poor bastards. I'm gonna just take this leader out, thank you. Um, yeah, that's exactly what we wanted to do, actually. Put him in there, thank you. This guy's come along well, thank you very much. Um, now they're allied with the Iroquois, who are actually s not really a threat, but they're big and tough. Oh hey, these guys are actually a protectorate. Um, I don't want to make them not a protectorate at this stage. And we, we've inherited them off um, Britain, that's why they're a protectorate. I could cancel that. Um, I don't want to because the only other option is to take it ourselves. Actually, we inherited it off someone other than Britain, but you know, whatever. And taking it ourselves would give Florida a yet more overextension. Oh hey, Osage did join in the war. Sucks to be you guys. Send these guys up there then. Yeah, so we might attack these ones here. The Chickasaw or... They're all allied of a fucking Iroquois. Caddo and Chickas... Well, only three of them are, but... It's the same thing as all of them. Right, give me something here, guys. Right, anyway, I think it's time to say to Trondalag, uh, you're either with us or against us. So, um, no, we've got to wait a year. Of course we have to wait a year. Um, 10 prestige or a lot of money? Let's take a lot of money. And now let's declare war on these guys for... We're going to declare it for Tunis because that's our mission. 
and these guys can come down here and do a little bit of blockading. These guys can not have a leader, but they can come in there and we'll send down the fleet to the Gulf of Sirt to blockade them. Who's coming with you? Just Sicily. Good. That's actually really good for us. Because it uh, means that Trondelag have been manly men and stayed with us. Good work, gents. Good work. I did not want to have to try and bitch slap you at this point in time. A little surprised that Sicily joined in after not joining in with us on the other one. Or, you know, joining against us, sorry. That's interesting. We have 22 um, Imperial Authority now. That's a little odd. Still the only one supporting Gabina, whatever it is. Okay, good. Our boys are fighting. Thanks, lads. Just get on that. I understand that you don't have much in the way of stuff, but, you know, just get on it. Okay, we beat those guys, but we're going to follow them and then double back. Because I prefer them to be wiped out. And we have a free diplomat, who we should probably send down to Arabia. To fabricate some more goddamn claims. Whoops, I clicked the cancel button. Good. You guys still have a strong dude. It's fine. Just gotta wait. I don't think Egypt have passage through Mali. No, they've got passage through Orleans and Valoy somehow. Yeah, see, we just wiped them out, so that's good news for us. And our allies have rocked up to help out in uh, Sicily. Perfect. I was unsure about colonizing too much in America because you will just lose pieces of it. You know, because it's all colonial regions. The important thing is that we've uh, gotten rid of our, um, what do you call it? Words. The coast. We've taken the coast. The other issue is that we can't really attack the Iroquois because any provinces we take from them go into uh, Florida. You know, the same Florida who are having huge fucking issues with war exhaustion, overextension. Uh, they've actually improved their stability a bit, but they've still got a lot of religious turmoil. And that sort of bullshit. They are slowly converting, but yeah, it's not looking good. Not looking good at all for them. Whatever. I mean, they'll get over it, right? Now ah, some rebels over there. We've just won the Siege of Tunis, so that was very fast. Let's send our guys that way. Do I want to do anything to Sicily? Uh, okay, so Nicaragua got damaged a little bit. It's fine, it still exists. What I'm going to do though is split this force like so, because I don't want to lose Nicaragua. And admittedly I should have done that a lot earlier. Just gonna dock these guys, get them repaired up for the month, then I'll send them up into the Maltese Channel or somewhere. So yeah, I don't particularly think that these wars are going to be terribly tough. I am not going to record another episode tonight, though it is Friday night for me. Um, because, well, I want to play Shadow of Mordor. So, you know, while we st I'm going to, you know, try and push these wars as far as we can, 
in the time that we've got left, we might have to deal with them tomorrow. Or in the next episode, as the case is. Let's unpause the game. And our dudes over here should have just fixed themselves up a little bit. Yep, good on them. So I'm going to send them up to this place. Get that siege dealt with as quickly as possible. We may take the, um... Masana. Which one was Masana? God, I don't remember things. I'm actually going to take our dude out of uh, Trondalag. Ooh, no, 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 no. Not that, not that. That one. Take him out of Trondalag because uh, he's not needed there anymore. Was that part of Persia, Masala? No, that was those places. Delhi? No, we've still got both of those. We need to fabricate some claims against Gujarat, though. Yeah. Oh, jeez, that's a lot. Oh, well, let's start with Kutch. Stravani, who are you actually allied with? Delhi and Maharashtra. <laughs> well, we'll de what we'll do there is we'll probably declare on Delhi so we can get those ones in. But they are allied with Bengal. Ugh. Difficult. Declare war on these guys. Oh, we don't have a diplomat. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess we just leave it for the moment then. We'll probably handle that one next episode anyway. Guys home from Trondalag, that's good. Slaves are going to be produced in Zozo. Lollard has been converted. Ah, German Patriots. Guys! Oh right, Mali is totally German. I was gonna say, we are like the best Germans. Fucking ingrates. Okay, how are things doing over here, guys? We're making progress, that's good. Got some rebels. You guys heading down there? Totally are. You should be able to handle them. Got a 5-2, they've only got a 2-1. Good work, lads. Good work. Okay, we've got all those places done, so now they all need conversion. Good stuff. Uh, Pueblo would like peace. Pueblo can go suck my dick. Siege of Calabria is over. Perfect, so now I'm just going to move our boats to this place here. And I don't care about these guys, these guys can just sit there and do whatever they want. So, will you give me Calabrian? Nope. You won't actually just peace out for with me? Nope. It'll cost me 40, it'll cost me another 40. You've really got nothing I want. Could get him to release Calabria. Not doing that though. Could take Malta. fuck is that? Oh, they own that piece of land up there? Wow! Completely forgot about that. Okay, so taking all of that would be worth uh, 120. That's not necessary. That is probably what we want off them, just to, you know, restrict them to the islands. <coughs> we'll get on that in a bit. Wichita has been converted. Not converted. Taken. So we'll sue Wichita for peace. Cost us 50 diplomatic power. Shot. Done. Thank you. Um, we can't claw it, I think, because it's outside of a range. But I'm just going to check on that. Yep, it's outside of core range. So what I'm going to do is convert it to Protestant and just sit one of these guys on it. Meanwhile, I'll send these guys down to Wacko because I will then attempt to colonize Wacko. 
when one of these guys is finished. Actually, you know what? I'm going to pull this guy out of here because he is not needed. And we can't yet send a guy to Wacko, I think. Well, we totally can. Done. Yeah, and basically when I when our diplomat gets back, we'll peace out with uh, Pueblo. And really, this thing in Egypt should have gone finished itself a long time ago. Siege of Bakwa is over. We can move out for a bit. I want this this one here to end end as well. There we go, Constantine. So what I want to know. Uh, you know what, we'll just we'll figure that out next episode because I also want to piece separately with Sicily and all that sort of thing. So let's just have a quick look at our things here. Yeah, okay, so... Military and um, admin are way above what we can actually get. Diplomacy is being hindered because we also really want this stuff. Really want this stuff. Particularly that, actually. That would be really nice. But, you know, we'll just have to sort that out. And, uh, yeah, so we'll see how that goes next episode. If you've got any questions or comments, well, you know what to do. Leave them below. Get to them as soon as I can. If you liked the video, go ahead and give it a like. And, uh, you know, we need another colony. Oh, we're sending a guy over. Duh. And, uh, yeah, if you liked it, you know, more than that, well, go ahead and subscribe. In the meantime, though, I have been Sub. You have been yourselves. Later.